everyone. Today we'll review the dipstick, Wi-Fi, and the scope. So let's get right to it. Let's see what's uh, in the box here. That's their website, dipstick.com. This unit is IP67, waterproof standard, adjustable LED light, and high vision quality camera. USB charging cable. This is the unit itself. Let's see what kind of documents they have with it. So they give you 24 months of warranty, two years instead of one uh, when you register at Dipstick. This is the operation guidance. So this unit requires uh, an app to uh, operate the Indescope. Unlike the video version of the Indescope, I just recently reviewed another version of dipstick video. I will link it up on the right corner. Um, this one is uh, specifically connected to your smart uh, device via Wi-Fi. So this one will require the dipstick view app. We'll walk through that. First, you get the app. Secondly, you uh, do device activation and connection. And then step three, you basically start uh, using the in, in the scope dipstick view. And then you have the FAQs and help at the back. This is pretty handy. And obviously there is a longer version of the manual. So let's see the unit. Let's see what else comes with. So this is uh, belongs to this part right here. Make sure you keep that and don't lose it because uh, this protects the threads. These threads here on the top of the camera and the LED light, these threads are critical for, uh, so this is the ring that you make sure you protect. These threads are critical to uh, make these attachments be connected to the Indiscope itself. So this is, the, it's nice Indiscope uh, dipstick is uh, they include the uh, reset pin here, so you don't have to look for a paper clip. So that's always nice, they include that. So they have the magnet to pull things when so you can find things and then use the magnet to pull them out. They have a hook here, and then they have a, a 45 degree camera for angle view. So um, you could attach any of those to the end of the camera uh, using those uh, threads on the top of the camera, like I mentioned. Okay. So just make sure you always attach this ring to the top of the, to the tip of this camera and LED to protect it. Let's put those here. So the cable here two velcros they are attached to the cable so you don't uh, lose them which is nice for a long cable like this those are pretty handy uh, so the cable is on the little bit on the stiff side for this unit 
the other uh, dipstick uh, video version that has a digital display on it. Uh, this one is a Wi-Fi version. The, uh, that one is a little bit more soft than this one. This one is a bit stiff. So depending on your application, um, this could be useful. So uh, you could see here, whichever shape I put it on, it holds the shape pretty well. And it requires a little bit more uh, to uh, bend it or to bring it back to the shape. So it has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six LEDs here with a camera. So, uh, and you could control the brightness of uh, the LEDs. So let's look at the specs for a second. So the version we're reviewing today is the Wi-Fi WF025. So it has two megapixel CMOS uh, sensor camera and the maximum resolution is 1920 uh, 1080 pixels and the viewing angle is uh, 67 degrees plus minus 3 depth of view 1.96 to 11.8 inch and then the diameter is 5.5 millimeters so this is pretty small diameter so for tight places this should work really really well I like that the working voltage for the current is 5 volt 2 amperage DC. It's 2.4G Wi Fi. Single channel. And then uh, the Wi Fi distance is 33.3 feet without any obstacle. I don't think you will ever reach that, knowing that you need to be close by the unit to uh, look at the, as, as you inspect. And then uh, the uh, camera probe is uh, IP67 uh, proof. And then there is an LED indicator on the unit. Uh, if it flashes, is low battery. If it's red and it flashes, is low battery. If it is red, LED indicator stays on, power system standby. If blue LED uh, indicator flash, Wi-Fi standby. If blue is steady on data transfer status, if green LED stays on, it's charging, green LED indicator off, charging finished. So when the green is on, it means uh, uh, charging. So it's not done charging when just make sure because that could be confusing sometimes. Uh, some, some other electronics, when it turns green, that means fully charged. This one, if it is solid green, that means it's charging. When the green goes off, that means it's fully charged. Okay, so let's look at the unit now. So it's this lipstick here. It came with this plastic protection so that the on and off power doesn't get switched through shipping. There is a micro USB charging port here, and there is a reset pin right here. Serial number, unit information, and then this is, I'm assuming this could be for the uh, light. Turned it on. Red is solid, and then blue is solid as well. So now let's download the app and make the connection.
start and then now it's looking for the connection so to do that we go to settings this is the one that we need here and the password is one two three four five six seven eight per the instruction join Now we're connected. So now we go to the unit. So let's look at the app functionality. The 90 degree arrow up there rotates the image to help keeps the orientation right despite how the probe is looking at the object if you needed to. This one right here takes a picture and it confirms it. This one starts video recording and it shows you how long the video has been recorded for. And then you press it again, it stops. The file here, it takes you to where the videos are. This one takes you where the pictures are. It also gives you the date and time of recording. And then to delete them, you just do so. Gives you confirmation, which is nice. So the app seems extremely easy to use. I like that the fact they make these icons pretty big and uh, you could easily see them and they are easy to not miss uh, when you touch them because the size is pretty good. Settings here, it is the resolution and the Wi-Fi setting. That's pretty much it. My impression about the unit is um, it is very small. Uh, for what it does. Uh, obviously, I'm assuming this is the shape of the battery, this cylinder-like shape. So this could be the shape of the battery, so it has a single battery uh, there. Uh, it tells you, uh, the, it shows you the Wi-Fi signal here and the power signal there. And uh, it seems it's made out of good quality plastic. Uh, the on-off button seems to be made well and I feel like I'm not worried about it breaking it as I am turning it on and off and this dial for uh, the light for the probe uh, I think it's very effective I like it it is like this versus you know a slider or something like that this one seems to be more uh, controlled and uh, it gives you an infinite adjustment levels if you will so that's pretty good uh, the usb micro uh, is here we're supposed to be in the reset button is the reset uh, thing is here i am looking through uh, refrigerator components here and uh, I wanted to share with you a little bit about the experience of using this probe. Uh, one of the things you have to watch for is the refresh rate of the probe. So you have to slow down your movement in order for you to see your way through uh, these different areas, uh, but uh, not to a point in which it feels like a, you know, an issue, but just you have to slow it down enough to keep the picture clear. And you could see here uh, it's easily doable. Um, I did uh, experience a small uh, drop uh, in the signal between the Wi-Fi uh, uh, component of the endoscope and uh, the phone. You will notice it here. It's going to come up shortly. 
uh, it was extremely short and it didn't create any issues for me as far as the inspection. Um, the second thing you have to be mindful about is right here, uh, as you can see, it was pretty short. The second thing you have to be mindful about is the reflection of the LED light. Uh, because these six LEDs are very powerful uh, and, and uh, if you are inspecting around reflective surfaces, surfaces you have to make sure um, you manage your uh, the strength of the LED light so that the reflection does not hinder your uh, picture quality. Uh, and, and it works most of the time pretty well. Uh, here I am shifting into the hood of the car. It's a white paint, and uh, I'm trying to inspect uh, the washers for the windshield. Uh, the uh, one thing I'm trying to consider here is as I push the probe through three and a half, four feet long uh, distance uh, in a kind of in a narrow tunnel, how the probe will uh, handle itself uh, as far as bending or continuing to go through. And uh, as you can see here, I'm, manage, I'm, I'm inspecting the first one, and then I'm going to push it through to the second one. And the probe managed to keep it together really well, and I was able successfully to reach to the second washer and look at it clearly and then pull the probe uh, back out. Um, so um, the idea again here is just to uh, look at the integrity of the probe, as you can see here. Um, I think the question that some of you may ask is that, you know, should I pick up the Wi-Fi version or the video version of the dipstick uh, in this scope? Uh, I think the answer to that for me is going to depend in a couple of different uh, criteria. One of the useful things I found with the Wi-Fi version is that in this case right here and, and in the refrigerator test, my phone was sitting stationary and both of my hands were busy managing the probe. That gave me the flexibility of keeping the phone on my site all the time, uh, and it was always clear to me while uh, both of my hands managed the probe. As you can see here, uh, this is the second uh, windshield washer. So uh, that was very useful ergonomically, and the experience worked out pretty well. Uh, I think if I had used the video version, I probably would have had to keep one of my hands to keep the screen on my viewing angle because when you uh, manipulate a, a long probe around, what happens is that it could uh, affect uh, the screen and where the viewing angle of the screen is. In this second example, it's coming up, I'm looking uh, inside the engine um, and uh, just to see uh, how uh, some of those components in uh, this engine will uh, look like as far as clarity. Um, so, and, and as you can see, it's pretty good here, uh, good picture. And uh, I didn't want to push it in all the way because I wasn't sure uh, if it had any dust or dirt on it. I didn't want to push that inside the engine. So uh, I, this is how far I went. And then on the second example, I look into the uh, component of the minivan slide door. And uh, you could see these are pretty deep down. And uh, I was just kind of, you know, thinking if there was any object hidden there or lost there, I would have been able to easily pull that out and, and uh, uh, address that issue quickly. So um, very useful. I like the probe a lot. And I think it's, uh, as far as the price goes, it's a pretty decent buy. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and smash the like button.